All right, I'm back. I've got the over fenders on the car, as you can see. Uh, but the problem I have now is my fitment is whack. It's trash. I mean, it's honestly not terrible, but I bought spacers. It's worse in the rear. The rear is the actual worst, actually the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But um, the rear isn't gonna quite get fixed today. The rear still needs a camber kit. I haven't even cut the rears yet. Um, but here's the spacers. They are blocks. Here, let me show you the blocks. Blocks, racing, aluminum, forged steel, alu forged aluminum uh, with steel lugs and lug nuts. It says five year warranty. Uh, these things should be pretty good. They were the best forged aluminum ones that I could find. Uh, best price for their forged aluminum. Um, all the rest I saw had like reviews where they like cracked on the car and stuff and like crazy kind of shit where it's just like cast aluminum and it's like not very good. With how I've been driving it around right now, I'm just, I'm literally dying to get spacers on here. Like I can't drive this car like this around here anymore with this mismatched color. But the thing that bugs me the worst Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, this is awful. I cringe, but I cringe more at the rears. The rears is, is this is this is a this is a crime against humanity here. This, I mean, I should be jailed for this. That's just absolutely disgusting. Uh. So yeah, hope to fix at least half of the issue. The rear will still be kind of whack until we get the camera kit. Um, then I can straighten it out. As you can see here, I'm running quite a bit of camber. So if I straighten that out with a 20 mil, uh, which is what I bought, I bought 20 mils all around. With the 20 mil, it should fix that. So, with all that being said, uh, I don't know why I pointed at the camera. With all that being said, uh, we're gonna go ahead, jack the car up. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'll probably throw the spacers on first, at least the front, I don't know about the rear. Um, and then we'll cut the rears, cause we have to take the wheels off anyways. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, so, I I really don't like how these rib nuts or bolts turned out. I bought the dress up washer style bolts, uh, and I just really, they're way too big. They look awful and hideous. People don't like um, bolt on kits where you can see the kits anyways, or the, see the bolts anyways. Uh, but this just makes it look. I mean, these things are visible from space. So I'm gonna be getting rid of those. And in their place, I've got, this didn't come with the spacers, by the way, I ordered this separate. I just threw it in the box. Um, these are just regular standard uh, button head bolts. Uh, with a little bit of a flange on them. So pretty much the same thing. Um, these are just, I don't know if I can show this. These are considerably smaller. That doesn't look smaller, but trust me, it's smaller. There you go. And uh, they'll just, they'll tuck in further too. They won't stick out as much. So it'll look much better. So yeah, let's get started.
right, now that I've got the wheel, wheel off of the car, uh, I figured it'd be a good time to kind of show what wheel spacers do and how they work. Basically, oh man, I'm so sweaty right now. Basically, how to install them properly and what types there are, um, and how to not have your wheels fall off while you're going 80 on the highway. So, yeah. Okay, so, basically, what a wheel spacer does, people just walked by and I got nervous. Super scared, super nervous. Let me get a light. Okay, so basically what a wheel spacer does is it bolts up to your hub like this. Like that. Since this is hub centric, the, it's already centered. Um, and then your wheel studs become what holds this on, the wheel spacer, becomes what holds the wheel spacer on. And then the studs that are on the spacer become your new studs for your wheel. And you screw it on with the nuts they give you because these are very strong and they're also low profile. I can't get that one off, but they're also low profile so they fit in here without sticking out too much and although most aftermarket wheels come with this most aftermarket wheels come with these cutouts that are in the back um this is, doesn't want to focus this is where your stud normally hooks up uh but on the offset areas there's actually a huge cutout um, most aftermarket wheels do come with the backs cut out like that, so it's not just flat what you're looking at. There's actually grooves where it can fit into right here, right there. Um, and normally you don't have that problem, but sometimes you have to cut down your original studs and that kind of sucks because, yeah, it's one more thing you have to worry about and it overcomplicates it. All right, one space is on. A little bit. What about? Yeah, a little bit about what I did. So I added some high strength thread locker, or medium strength, I guess. Just a dab, because uh, I figured these are gonna be on for a while, and I'm not gonna be taking them off like how I would normal stuff. And I really don't want to risk it since I can't see these. Um, and go ahead and feel them and see if they're tight or not. Figured I might as well just not even risk it. Just put some thread lock on um, just to be safe. Also, another thing that you have to do with wheel spacers, this isn't an optional thing. Get yourself a torque wrench. This one goes up to, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but it says 150 pounds. And what I did is I did these, I torqued them to 80 and then uh, once they were all torqued to 80, I went ahead and torqued them all to 120. I think that's a little bit over spec. It might be 110, but as you can see, I mean, just to be safe, um, you know, sometimes I go over spec just, just for the peace of mind, just because I have OCD, but. That's 120 pounds on all of them. Just want to go ahead and make sure they're all done properly because you don't want your wheel falling off while you're on the highway because you just you don't want to die man no one no one wants to die you don't want to die because that'd be bad all right guys front wheels back on and already i can tell this is going to look really aggressive Man, that's just about perfect. It's exactly how I wanted it. But let's lower it. Ooh. Look at that. 
Man. That looks freaking good. If you guys have been watching this channel for a little bit, you know I'm a hot boy when it comes to stuff like this. Just a little bit. Like, like just the right amount. Not, I don't, I don't want no wheels like this. I don't want wheels like that with, with a fucking 185, 30 on a fucking 10 and a half. Nah, man, I ain't about that. But, I will say, that a nice flush setup like this does look good. And there's no arguing that. Ooh, boy, that looks so good with this over fender. Oh, look at that ugly thing. Oh. Oh, and the cutout in the back even. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god, I'm gonna nut. This is so good. This literally looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these different bolts on real quick and then I'll do the other side and then... I don't know, maybe I'll call it a night there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut my rears tonight. It's getting kind of late. But damn, boy, look at that! Oh, that looks so good. I'm so happy.